Good afternoon, everyone. It is Wednesday, April 8th, and that means it is the day to look at the week that was in the Pioneer and Modern Preliminaries. Uh, there definitely were some shakeups this week, and possibly in no small part due to the fact there were some uh, data issues on Wizards of the Coast side. Uh, there were no decks at all published on, um, on Monday the 6th, and the Pioneer League didn't show up until late into the day yesterday. We have not seen a Modern League yet this week. I don't believe there's been decks posted for today as of, uh, as of the time of this recording. So there's been some data issues. So there's not as many preliminaries as we have seen in prior weeks. But there's still a lot of interesting data to look at here. Uh, in Pioneer... We've had 19 different decks. It does feel like things are condensing down a little bit in Pioneer. Uh, there was just one new deck this time. And again, all the churn uh, in in the uh, the chain, the chain turnover from week to week all has been at the bottom of the metagame. Uh, 14 of the 19 decks that appeared this week have appeared every week. So it's the old standbys in Pioneer that, that are getting through. Uh, in Modern, again, same thing, not as many preliminaries posted as typical. Uh, so we were down a little bit on the number of different decks. Uh, six of them are brand new to these meta week, uh, metagame comparisons. Four were returnees. And we've had 15 decks in total that have appeared in all four weeks. So let's look at Pioneer. The biggest news here is that Demir, for at least a short period of time, has been unseated. Um, Mono White Devotion did pass it in the number of decks posted over the week, though it did not post a 5-0 in any of the results. Demir did get two of them, and nobody else, nobody else had more than one. Um, but it did drop in the number of decks showing up. Uh, Mono Black Aggro had a resurgence last week and was kind of all over the place. Um, moving up nine spots. Bant Spirits hanging around. Sultai Delirium hanging around. Lotus Breach hanging around. Uh, Mono Red hanging around. This is, you know, the old standbys that we're used to seeing in Pioneer. They're all still at the top of the metagame. Uh, Gruel Aggro did have a pretty good week. Uh, it's starting to uh, show up a little more and more. Uh, this is the... Uh, Burning Tree Emissary Clothis deck that has been kind of interesting to see. Uh, fun deck to play. Um, good to see it posting results here. Uh, the rest of the multiple result decks here. Uh, Golgari Stompy still hanging around. Five Color Niv, as usual, is there. Hardened Scales uh, reappeared last week after kind of disappearing from Pioneer for a couple of months and had another good week, so we might see some resurgence in that deck. Uh, Mono Green Rockers had a bit of a dip this week, and this Merfolk deck, it's... Merfolk might be a bit of a misnamer, misnomer. Um, it's more like a blue aggro tempo, uh, almost like a Delver deck in some ways. Uh, not quite a Protect the Queen that bad, but it, it's... It plays out similar, I guess, to, to Spirits in that it's disruptive in how it plays uh, and it, uh, but it's a lot of creatures. And it does splash green uh, for a couple of different cards. So Merfolk, I'll, I'll dig into the list a little tighter. Merfolk may be the wrong name here. I'll, I'll take a look and see about changing it next week. And then the Simic Ramp deck. What, and was uh, a multiple appearance. And the Jeskai Fires Planeswalker deck made its first showing in the preliminary results. It's shown up a couple of times in the leagues. But it's a uh, very Planeswalker he uh, heavy Fires of Invention Jeskai deck. Uh, frequently wins with Sarkhan turning all your Planeswalkers into dragons. And then... Uh, all of these were new this week. We hadn't seen them last week. Blue White Spirits was back. Uh, Blue Red and Soul. Um, sorry, I guess these aren't all new these, this week. Blue Red and Soul, Blue White Control, and White Weenie all kind of just poked their nose in, uh, hanging around. 
And then we had a handful of decks drop out that showed up last week. Uh, watch for that Selesna Heliod deck. I think that one might turn into something. All right, now to modern. And big surprise here at the top. Gruel Monsters. If you've been playing Modern Online, you have probably run into this deck. It is the three pillage, three clothis, um, st- uh, the uh, Bloodbraid Elf style gruel mid range deck. It tops out at Glorybringer. It's got Chandra Torture Defiance. The numbers on all these different cards shift around little bits here and there. But. This is a mid-range aggro mid deck, and it is really posting some results. Um, You'll notice here also with the deltas, nearly all of them are pluses. We basically swapped page one and page two from last week's results for this week. So whether that's an artifact of fewer leagues, or if there is a bit of a shift at what's going on at the top of the metagame, I'm really not sure. Uh, Burn had a resurgence. Humans, Mono Red Blitz. Tron rebounded a little bit after dropping hard last week. Uh, Amulet Titan back up. Infect is showing up again. And that's kind of not a surprise given the amount of Titan decks that have been around, but Titan has been dropping off. So uh, Jund dropped rather heavy. Jund had a great week last week, but this week it, it fell back. As did Bant Snow Control and Euroza. Uh, so the Uro decks dropping quite a bit here. Uh, Naya Zoo had a good little run. Storm had a good little run. Dredge fell off. Eldrazi Tron dropped hard. That's probably the biggest loser of week over week. Um, and I think just the decks that it has been mostly preying on aren't showing up. And so it's losing out in the metagame battles. Bogles... And Blue White Control and Naya Stoneblade all just kind of hanging around here. Uh, so the Naya Stoneblade is mostly a green red zoo deck, uh, but it is splashing white for Stoneforge Mystic. And then the five color Elementals deck poking in here at the bottom. And then the rest, a uh, handful of one ofs, these are all decks we've seen before. Five color Niv just showed one result in the preliminaries. But it was the only deck to post nine O's in either the challenge or the uh, sh- was it the showcase qualifier yesterday? I think it was called. Um, but yeah, it had nine O's in both events, and no other deck had a nine O in either, uh, and two different players too. So five color Niv definitely is a player, though it wasn't showing it in the preliminaries. Grixis Wurza, four color Shadow and Elves popped back again. We hadn't seen them in a while. And some old favorites in the, quote, new one-ofs here with Eldrazi and Taxes and Hate Bears. But there was also an Esper Inverter deck, which was rather interesting. Uh, basically, the Demir Inverter deck from Pioneer, but splashing white for some uh, relatively powerful white uh, hate and uh, control elements. Sultai Mill showed up, as did a Boros Humans list. Uh, red white aggro and they were all humans and it used the human synergies so something interesting there if uh, you know a lot of the pillage and blood moon effects that we see from the gruel monsters if that remains a thing boros humans might be a little more uh, resistant to the land hate that's in that deck than five color humans um, yeah, Five Color Humans has Aether Vial, but Pillage kills both a, either a land or an artifact. So it's great against the Humans deck. And things that disappeared this week. Neobrand, Grixis Shadow, Demir Wars, Ad Nauseam. I mean, these are some, some of the bigger names in the format. Did not appear in any preliminary 3-2 or better result this week. Monored Prowess, Devoted Company, Snow Healy. Didn't appear. It'd be interesting to see how long it takes them to come back. And then we had some of the spicier brews that we've seen in the past. Slivers, Soul Sisters, uh, that Boros Ponza, I Want to Kill All the Lands deck. Um, They appeared last time, but not this week. So uh, definitely 
some interesting results. We're definitely seeing changes at the top of the metagame in both formats, um, modern in particular. I mean, I mentioned last week just with the way everything staggered down where it was 10, then 9, then 8, then 7. Uh, everything just flip-flopped this week. So who knows what you're going to see in modern from one week to the next. And Pioneer definitely has its stable decks at the top, but they do shift around a little bit, especially after you get past the top two. Uh, it's really anybody's guess which of these decks are going to see at any given time. So some interesting results, even with the... Uh, the smaller number of events posted. Uh, we've got some good numbers coming out of this, some good things to see. So that's about it for today. I should be back tomorrow with at least one uh, league walkthrough. I'll at least cover yesterday's Pioneer League. I still haven't looked at that one yet. And if they post another Modern League or something like that, I'll try to give that, get that up tomorrow as well. Thanks a bunch for watching, hanging with me here. If you like what I'm doing, do please hit the like and subscribe buttons. It does help a ton. Hit that bell so that you know when my next video comes out. And thanks for watching, and have some good games. Bye-bye.